All right, uh, now we have seen the comparison test. A very useful uh, form of the comparison test is the so-called limit comparison test. Now, so what is the limit comparison test? In the limit comparison test, uh, instead of, so we, again, so we know about a series BN, whether it converges or diverges. Um, and basically, well, BN is, is known, right? So we have this, uh, the, the sum from say one to infinity. BN, about it we know, so whether it converges or diverges. And, and we want to figure out whether the um, series, the sum of AN con converges or diverges. Now, um, instead of trying to, to write an inequality, like AN is less than or equal than, than BN, or AN is bigger than or equal than BN, uh, which may be sometimes hard to, to do. Well, especially, well, usually uh, we, we can't really use the inequality like this. So we, we should multiply it by some number. Like in the previous example, we saw this five over two or something like that. Now, um, the, the useful trick is to, to find the limit of the ratio, right? So instead of trying to, to find inequalities, we compute this limit. And basically, if the limit is a positive number, then either both series converge or both diverge. It means that if a, if we know that the, the series BN diverges, then we immediately conclude that the series AN also diverges. If the series BN converges, then we conclude that the series um, AN also converges. And it, it makes the problem of figuring out um, of using the comparison to to prove a certain series AN a bit easier because we don't have to figure out whether we should use the estimate from above or from below, right? So instead we just, just take the limit. Now, uh, the intuition behind it is, is, is basically like this, is uh, if the limit of the ratio AN, BN is, um, certain number C, right? So it means that roughly speaking, AN is approximately equal to C times BN if if N is very large, right? Well, uh, but then if the, the series converges, then basically we, we can write that AN is smaller than C times BN. Well, to be honest, it's going to be less than or equal than C plus epsilon times BN. But multiplying BN by a constant C plus epsilon, we still get a convergence series, right? So if this converges, then, then so does this. And vice versa. So if we know that BN diverges, then basically it means that AN is bigger than or equal than C minus epsilon times BN. And if the, this series diverges, then, then so does this one. And now notice that now it is clear why C has to be a positive constant because um, if C is zero, then C minus epsilon is, is going to be negative and it doesn't, you know, lead to any conclusion. That, that's the intuition. Uh, now, an, another form of the limit comparison test is um, it describes, it deals with the case when C is zero and the limit of the ratio is zero, right? And so here it works only kind of um, halfway, right? So here, if the, the series BN converges, then so does AN. But if the, the series BN diverges, then we we can't say anything about AN. Um, now, why is, is this true, right? So basically, Roughly speaking, the idea is that if the limit is zero, so imagine that if the limit is zero, it means that uh, AN over BN is going to be some small number. So it's say epsilon and it's going to be a small number, right? So AN equals epsilon times BN, but this is a small number. So th th this is essentially smaller than, than BN. 
and since bn converges then so does a n right but again so if the limit is zero then it doesn't give us the um the inequality from the other from the from the um other side so if bn diverges then we can't say anything right so basically it means that okay a n is smaller than a divergent series but then it can be either convergent or divergent well and if, if the limit is infinite then basically if bn diverges then so does a n and again uh, the idea is that uh, if, if the limit is infinite it means that if n is large then a n over b n it is going to be the ratio is going to be a very large number saying i don't know some some level k and it's going to be very large So a n is going to be like k times b n, which is bigger than than b n. So if b n diverges, then then so that does a n. Again, so th this is not a complete proof; it is just roughly the intuition behind it. Now, um, in in practice, form A is somewhat more useful than B or C. I don't think that B or C are useful at all, to be honest. So because if you use B or C, then essentially you, you can just use the normal comparison test without the limit thing. And it is just a bit easier, I think. So I think you, you, you can just forget about B, B and C. But for completeness, I am you know, including them here too. Uh, so here is the justification. So basically, uh, it's it's what I already said. So I, I will skip. Now, how do we apply this? Um, is the, the series convergent or divergent? And the intuition here is that basically um, the degree in the numerator is zero. The degree in the denominator is two, um, which tells you that um, which hints you at comparing the, the series to the series one over n squared, right? So if the, the, this is our a n, so our a n is five over two n squared minus four n plus three. And b n is uh, 1 over n squared. Again, n squared is because it's just the difference between the degree in the numerator and the degree in the denominator. So it, it's a ratio of two polynomials and we just take uh, the, the difference. Right? Uh, now, according to the um, limit comparison test, we should find the limit as n goes to infinity of a n divided by b n. And this, this is going to be 5 divided by 2 n squared minus 4 n plus 3 times b n is 1 over n squared. So when we divide by b n, we essentially just multiply by n squared. Right, so I'm going to just write n squared here. And then, okay, strictly speaking, I should try the limit here. So limit. So this is the limit as n goes to infinity of what? Um, in order to simplify it, I need to uh, divide by the largest power in the numerator and in the denominator. Uh, but the, this term 1 over n squared was chosen specifically so that the largest power in the numerator and denominator is now this, the same as 2, right? So we're going to divide by n square in the numerator and by n square in the denominator. So doing that, we will get 5 on top divided by 2 minus 4 over n plus 3 over n square. And now we're going to take the limit. And the limit of this is 0. The limit of this is 0. So the limit of this is just 5 over 2 minus 0 plus 0, which is 5 over 2. 
since the limit is positive, is not zero. I mean, it cannot be negative because we started with two series of positive terms. Since the limit is strictly positive, it means that if our series BN converges, then so does AN. If our series BN diverges, then, then so does uh, AN. And we know that this is a P series with P equals two, so it converges because two, two is bigger than one. And since the, the series one over n squared, the sum of, sorry, from one to infinity, the, the sum of one over n squared converges, so does the original series. Okay, so th this is how we can apply the limit comparison test. It is somewhat easier than just the comparison test because here we don't have to figure out whether the estimate should be from above or from below. And in particular, in, in, in this case, so after we have applied the limit, we see that the estimate should be from above, but it's not immediately clear how to, to set it up because, you know, if you just try to remove the, this term minus 4n plus 3, then you will get something that is not um, bigger but smaller because you're making the denominator bigger so the whole thing becomes smaller so which is why sometimes the limit comparison test is easier to use than just the um, comparison test okay um, and if we try to apply the limit comparison test to again so th this is a familiar example so we have already done it using just the comparison test with without the limit thing. Uh, we can do it, but I, I, I don't think it's it's very helpful, to be honest. We, we can do it. So we, we can write it like this. So if this is our a n is long n over n, and b n is um, 1 over n, then the limit as n goes to infinity of a n over b n is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity of long n over n divided by one over n is the same as times n cancels out so th this is the limit uh, of long n which is infinite and again so the intuition here is that if the limit of the ratio is infinity it means that a n is is like infinity times bn, so which makes an much bigger than bn. So since this series of bn diverges, it is the harmonic series, we conclude that the original series also diverges. But again, so we can apply the limit comparison test, it's just that I, I don't think that it's really much easier than directly write it along n over n is bigger than one over n for n at least two. All right, so that's all for the limit comparison test.